is the difference between a band shout and rockabilly. <laughs> that sort of sums it up. Same material, different styles, same song, and like I said, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Yeah. Sorry, I had to bring my line. <laughs> had a monster out of that <laughs> too. The material goes back to 1951. Okay, uh, last week, or two weeks ago, I was asked when the guitar sort of uh, replaced the saxophone, because that's what happened at least in LA, and I think in other urban centers too, and I'm, my guesstimation was about 1954, and one of the most dramatic transformations was that of young John Watson, who backed up Pachuco Hop by Chuck Higgins on piano, and Chuck Higgins fired young John Watson because young John Watson was getting all the attention because he insisted on playing the guitar. Well, you can't play a piano like you can play a guitar, and Chuck wanted to be the center of attention. Who could blame him? So <laughs> here's young John Watson making the transition from, and this is pretty acrobatic too, it suggests a later player by the name of Jimi Hendrix, uh, a decade later, or a decade and a half later, but here's young John Watson, 1954, new label, new identity, space guitar. 1954. 